Dwarkanath Vidyabhusan Bengali, Dibarakanatha Vidyabhusana 1820 to 22 August 1886 was an Indian scholar, editor and publisher of the trend-setting weekly Bengali newspaper Samprakash. Topic: <laughs> Father Vidyabhusan's father, Harichandra Bhattacharya, better known as Nyayaratna, was a scholar. He had studied under Kashinath Tarkalankar, who had a popular traditional center of education at Hattabagan in North Kolkata. Nyayaratna taught in the traditional centers of Sanskrit based education called Tal Chattispadis and also taught some boys in his spare time at his home. Amongst his renowned students were Ishwar Chandra Gupta and Ramtanu Lahiri. Early life After initial education in the traditional centre of village education, the Pathsala, Dwarkanath joined Sanskrit College, Kolkata in 1832, and studied there up to 1845, winning many prizes and earning fame as a scholar. He won the title of Vidyabhusan in his last examination. He had a short stint as a teacher in Fort William College and then joined Sanskrit College as a librarian. He later rose to the position of a professor and also assisted Ishwar Chandra Vidyasagar. When he was principal of the college, a strong supporter of the women's education, Dwarkanath Vidyabhusan joined other liberals to support Bethune School established by John Eliot Drinkwater Bethune for 20 years. In 1856, his father established a printing press. It must be mentioned that it was an age when publishers concentrated on an incongruous double bill of religion and erotica, but tastes had started changing. In 1857, 46 Indian-owned printing presses put out 322 books for sale. Although religion still held sway, erotica had started ebbing out. However, his father fell ill and died shortly after establishing the printing press. Vidyabhusan inherited the press and published in Bengali two volumes on the history of Greece and history of Rome, he had written. That was possibly the first time that fat volumes of history written in easy-flowing Bengali language was published and it immediately established Vidibhusan as a writer. Samprakash ISWAR Chandra Vidyasagar proposed the publication of a weekly newspaper Samprakash partly with the objective of providing employment for a deaf scholar. The newspaper hit the stands in 1858 but the deaf scholar never joined it. The entire responsibility of editing and publishing the newspaper vested in Vidyabhusan. At that time, Bengali newspapers such as Sambad Prabhakar and Sambad Bhaskar were defiling the moral environment in Bengal. With its dignified tastes, lucid language and fearless criticism, Samprakash occupied the top position in the field of Bengali newspapers. Initially, Samprakash was published from a lane in Champatala in Kolkata. When the railway was extended to Canning in 1862, he shifted the printing press to his native village Chingrapoda, renamed as Subhasgram, now in South 24 Parganas. It strongly criticized the powerful indigo planters and landlords. In his evidence before the Indigo Enquiry Committee, Rev. James Long emphatically stated, "...these periodicals play a significant role as the mouthpiece of the Indian public." In 1878, when the Viceroy, Lord Lytton, introduced the Vernacular Press Act, specially targeting the Bengali press, Vidyabhusan closed down Samprakash, rather than sign an undertaking about it, agreeing to follow the dictates of the authorities. Sir Richard Temple, Lieutenant Governor, called him to his house and requested him not to close down the newspaper. Later, when the act was withdrawn, he resumed publication of Samprakash, but it never regained its past form and glory. <laughs> Later life He established an English school in his native place called Haranavi Devas High School and bore the expenses of running the same. A man of high moral standards he stood by the down trodden in society. With advancing age, his health started faltering. He published a monthly magazine Kalpadram for some time. Once he went and stayed in Varanasi for some time and was shocked by the wretched state of affairs of religion and morals. He died at Satna where he had gone to recoup his health. Sivanath Sastri was his sister's son. Works 
History, History of Greece, History of Rome, both in Bengali. Text books, Nitazar, Pathamrita, Chhatrabodh, Busansar Byakaran. Poetry, Prakrito Prem, Prokrito Sukh, Bysaswar Bilap. 